Prisco here from Cox Monsters. We are at MCM Glasgow or MCM Scotland 2018. This is our first year in a couple of years. We've had a little bit of time off. We've been busy making our show. So we've had a couple of panels. We were on the main stage yesterday uh, and we were on the live stage today showing some clips from series one and previewing some clips from series two. Uh, great time, we've got to hang out with Bill McBain, who's Connor, uh, our zombie in episode one. And we've got to hang out with Billy Kirkwood, who's the cult of many faces, our bad guy, or as he likes to call him, the hero of the show. And we've got to hang out with Lindsay, our producer, and uh, Ellie, our, who is behind the camera, and, um, and our editor as well. So, just a little update for you guys, episode one of series two by Debbie Moon is now edited. It's been sent off for visual effects, music and sound design. When that's ready, we'll get that up online free for you guys to watch. And I think we're going to do a little cast and crew screening at the end of October. But we're going to invite you guys to come along and basically see how far we've come since our last series. And then after that, we're going to get the Kickstarter launch for the next episode. I didn't know what Comic Con was. And Fraser said to me, are you enjoying your first Comic Con? I went, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know it was Comic Convention. So yes, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's the first time ever and I'm quite surprised how many people are here and that some of them, have, well most of them have dressed up as some weird people. Um, and I actually wish I had my zombie eyes to put in, then I would feel at home. So no, I'm having a great time. Hey, I'm Anne Nicholson, I am the editor for Cops and Monsters and uh, we're here at MCM Comic Con in Glasgow today. It's been really busy, it's been great, uh, talking to some people, telling them all about the show. And uh, we had a panel earlier at the live stage, which we had quite a few people come to, which was really fun, just to get to tell people more about how they can support us and where they can watch it and you know all that sort of stuff. So I think as most people know, season one is out on Amazon Prime, so you can give that a watch. And if you like it, please like follow us, Facebook, Twitter, all that. And also we have a Kickstarter so that we can make more episodes for season two. Now, as we've seen, there's some clips from season two. Now, you're still looking for funding to get the rest of season two finished, yeah. I believe, yeah? So we've finished the first episode of series two and handed off the edit to me a couple of days ago. It's very good. Um, Thank you. So it's a way of getting the visual effects done and then sound design and music. And then that will probably be done by middle of October. And then we're going to have a screening for it in Glasgow for cast and crew and members of the public if they want to come along. And then, yeah, we'll start the Kickstarter again because every time we want to do an episode, it's about four grand. It's getting higher and higher because Billy needs his drinking horn. But um, that I looks like it took off the budget. I bought that drinking horn with my own money, sir. <laughs> I sold out at a very low number elsewhere outside of here. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, we need money. Basically, every time we do an episode, we have to kickstart it. So people can either be in the show, have a cameo as a monster, or as a spiders officer, or you can have a signed script or signed DVDs, or what else can we give them? We can give them loads of things. Uh, I think what we want to do is want to make sure that the fans are as much a part of the Cops and Monsters universe as the cast and the crew are. You can literally help put the building blocks together of this universe yourself, and that's what we're keen to have people involved with. Yeah, from fans coming in and having acting roles that they've paid for, it's an investment, it's a credit for them. That's just very exciting because I don't think there's a lot of other productions in Scotland or outside of Scotland that are doing that. And that's what we're very keen for. And the actors aren't, aren't precious about it at all. I mean, I'm, I'm excited at the idea of getting to do that and getting to interact with, with people that are, are just looking to get involved with production and, and getting acting credits because it's such a hard thing to do here in Scotland. Mm. It's such a hard thing to do, man. You can do it virtually. The, the biosphere to do this anywhere else in the world is a lot easier. But in Scotland... It's just so hard to get the gears going, so if we can be that little branch, then let's do that. I've never, I've never in my life have I, have I done as many scenes in one day. Um, normally, if we're doing Taggart or whatever, um, you maybe do six, seven, eight scenes in a day, and that's a good day. Um, we did 26 on the day that I was there, and if you said that was possible, I'd have said you're off your trolley. But we did do 26, and that's the master shot, and that's close-ups for everybody involved. And uh, I found it quite astounding that, that that could be done in a day. It was great fun from start to finish. And I think the reason, that's what I keep saying, the reason that we were able to shoot as much in the one day, because there's everybody that did their job, everybody all the way through were good at what they did. 
and you felt as though for somebody like myself who's an outsider coming into it for one day, you didn't feel like that for 10 minutes, two lengths of the bath and you were part of it and everybody helped you, there wasn't a thing that you could, you felt floundering about, about, everybody from start to finish you know, just did their job and did it so well that you were able to just go from one scene to the next, look at your lines and then do it and there was no pressure to, to really, you, you think there would be pressure with that amount of scenes and I've done things where there's been a lot of pressure on and you've only done six or seven at the end of the day. There was a lot of pressure on this, but a good pressure, which makes you perform better than than you've ever done before. So I would like to come back at any time you ask me, uh, although I was shot a few times, so we're working on it. But I'm on the medication now and I should be able to be a zombie again soon. I've just finished the edit of the first episode for season two, which has been really, really good to work on. It was really fun. I think everybody's going to really, really like it. Um, it's quite a heartfelt episode. It's got some really, really uh, good cast in it. It's um, something that is slightly kind of a wee bit different, I think, from some of the episodes in season one. There's been a lot of changes, not only for Maya, but like, you know, where she's working, that sort of thing. She's got a new partner. Um, I won't give away too much, but they're not the best of friends. <laughs> um, and yeah, so if you want to help us out, go to Cops and Monsters website. Yeah. Oh, the wow. cult, the character of the cult, who we don't quite know what he's doing in the second series yet, so you need to, you need to watch and see what he's up to. Fund it, then we can find out. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, the cult who's meant to be the bad guy, but I'm pretty confident as, as the hero. <laughs> of the series. <laughs> I'm pretty confident the cult's a good guy, that's all I'm saying. Just whack him with your horn, sorted. Oh, th this is in the second season. <laughs> this is happening, make no bones about it. Now, don't get me wrong, we are very grateful for everyone who supports us, watches us, shares us tweets, and everyone who's sitting here today, we love you for staying, we really appreciate it. Um, we appreciate MCM for having us, but really, like, we wouldn't have a show without the fans. It's that simple. We can go ahead and write it, and we can film it and act in it, but Without the fans, there's nothing. Short of a lottery win, we're kind of screwed without you guys. So that's it. Uh, we are very, very grateful. And the people that like kind of tweet us and come to these things, and they've just been really great. Like the support's been amazing. And if nothing else, we've provided seats for people to sit down and yeah. have something to eat because all the benches will take. And get them. to watch a nice video for nine minutes and yeah, listen to us waffle on it. Definitely, definitely. I think it's the, the, the wonderful appeal that it's got. I think it's for it, it can be for any age group. I don't think, if you're 70 or 80, you can watch it, and if you're 6 or 7 or 8, I still think you can get something from it, because it can be very funny, it can be very very moving, very sad. Um, that's the, 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 the joy of it. I think it's got a wonderful a wonderful scope. It really has for, for an awful lot of people, and for somebody like myself. I would never have watched anything like that before. Never, ever. But then when I watched the, the, what was sent to me before I was lucky enough to be part of it, I just thought from start to finish, and I just before it had even gone two minutes, I was going, oh, please, let me be part of this. And, and I'm delighted that I was a small part. Yeah. We're an, un, we're, you know, we're an unknown quantity, as it were. Not everyone knows who we are. So it's tough just trying to get your name out there and just making sure, like, we're a show that people should like. Yeah. And once people watch us, they do like us. Billy looks very confused. <laughs> no, well, no, I, I agree. It's it's one of these things, just trying to get a bit of traction, get it going. We did the first season; it was well received outside of Scotland. Funnily enough, Scotland is one of the main places where we're actually trying to break into, despite the fact it's a Scottish product. But uh, it's doing quite well on Amazon Prime. In the US, we're doing really well. In the, in the US, US, it does yeah. very well. So it's just trying to get the the ball rolling here and just get more people invested in it. So. If nothing else, people will put money into the project because it's nothing but talented people from the cast right up to the crew, to the writers, the fans that are involved with the project are very, very enthusiastic about it. And it's open doors for lots of people, so that's why you get people wanting, eager to return and uh, to just keep uh, Cops and Monsters rolling. Let's yeah. do it. Obviously, the, you know, the, it's a shame that in this climate back here in Scotland and, and all there is, but there is no money going around. It's, it's, every penny's a prisoner. All I would say is that there are so many ways that you can actually help this. No, no amount is too small. Whether you're buying a, a, a coffee mug, or whether it's a tie clip or a, a pin or something, or I would say, and I'm going to do this myself, to be an actual zombie for a day is the most wonderful thing you'll ever do in your life. And what a present. If you're thinking about somebody's birthday or somebody, Christmas is coming up, if you're thinking of what to buy somebody who's had the man that's got everything or the woman that's got everything, let them be a zombie for a day. I think it's, I think it's, only, I think it's only 50 quid or so. 
and, and you can be a zombie. And what a present to give somebody. On Christmas Day, when you open up your presents, you go, oh, what's this? Another a zombie for the day. You're having a laugh. And yes, you will have a laugh. So I would say, and that way you're helping the show, and we can continue, hopefully, for five, six, seven, eight series. I hope so. So keep an eye out on what's happening. Let us know what you think of the show. Let us know if there's anything we could do different. And yeah, basically, thank you so much for continuing to support Cops and Monsters. And here he goes to interrupt me, so that's nice. But yeah, thank you so much for supporting the show. Sticking with us, we're so excited to do series two. We really hope you enjoy the next episode. And fingers crossed, we get funding from you guys to do more. Thank you very much.